We believe that piracy brings more benefits compared to harm as piracy can give them wider exposure. What is meant by wider exposure is they can be known by everyone who knows how to surf the internet. Internet is a place where we can surf for any information that we want for free. Having to pay for something will make the site is less visited. Thus, by having piracy fiduciary networks such as Napster and Foreshare, people have the opportunity to discover new music or movies for free. It will benefit the new artists. When they already have the popularity, people will start to buy the albums or go to their concert. If there is no piracy, it will be harder for new artists to make themselves known. Thank you. Along with other file sharing services, we believe Napster helped to stimulate payment-based services as iTunes and Pandora. Thus, we think this positive outcome shows Napster's illegal activities. The real deal behind this entire thing is to support the entire artist from piracy. It had been nearly 20 years since the music industry became the first to bear the brunt of digital disruption, with file sharing tearing apart its business model and destroying half of its value in revenue. Thanks to the growth of Spotify, iTunes and many others, they can get back what they should have been deserved before. Where nowadays, for only one month's payments, zaps 30 million songs into our smartphone, table and desktop apps. They still can get the payment for the beautiful masterpiece. Therefore, we truly believe that this positive outcome shows Napster negativities in order to help the music industry to be a better one in the future. I believe it is not ethical to subscribe to Apple Music as Apple is one of the big companies. They should have a lot of money to pay the royalties to the artists in which their songs are published in the Apple Music. It is not fair for the artists as they already work hard with their team for months to produce the song to entertain those who will listen to the song worldwide and not get paid at all by the Apple. It might be good to the artists that need more exposure, but it is unfair to those artists who have made their name. As a consumer, I am more likely to not to subscribe after hearing to the response from Apple if they decided to not compensate the artists. I believe that the artists should be paid for their song that they have worked hard to produce. To produce the song, it is not free as the artists and their team will need to spend a lot of money to produce the song. This is because they will need an advanced technology and skills which they not learn it in overnight to acquire those skills. They will need to go to classes to acquire those skills and how to use those advanced technology. If the artist did not get any royalties from Apple, then who will support their budget to produce the next song? It is true that it's quite difficult to conceptualize everyone affected. According to the ten moral rules by Bernard Good, the rules that have been violated by piracy are the rule of do not deceive, do not cheat and obey the law. Other than the artist, the producer, author and publisher and the team to produce the song will also be affected. This is because they will also get the royalties from the income made through the song. If those people did not get their payment, do you think that they want to involve in the song production? How will they support their life? After all those skills and time they have sacrifices to produce the song if they did not get any payment. A broader view of the people affected and harmed cause change your opinion on piracy as they are human too and they also need money to survive in nowadays era.